Okay, uh, this is a sheet of uh, aluminum. It's an eighth of an inch thick, and I'm using it as a mounting plate for some control electronics. All these circuit boards need to be mounted onto this plate, and the holes, of course, need to be very precisely put in so the uh, circuit board can uh, be screwed into the plate on some uh, metal standoffs. Uh, this is a very traditional metalworking technique called marking up. Uh, I'm going to use something called a uh, optical center punch, though, to ensure that I absolutely can find the cross points for the holes. The first thing to do when you're uh, doing marking up, of course, you take an engineer's square and a, a steel ruler and a scriber, and you can then mark out uh, exactly where you want one axis of a line. And then you can mark out the other axis of the line. You'll, of course, get across where the hole is supposed to be. Um, and that's very traditional sort of basic metalworking skills. The next trick, however, is to uh, get an absolute accurate uh, uh, divot there so the uh, drill bit doesn't wander around. And uh, that actually can be somewhat hard. And uh, that's where this little gadget called the uh, optical center punch uh, comes in. It uh, consists of three pieces. It has a, a little brass fitting which has a o-ring on it so it doesn't slide around. And what you can do is then position it exactly over your work. It then has an interesting uh, ground uh, plastic rod. It's clear on this side and then it's been uh, roughened on this side down here. And if you slide it in to the center punch and uh, look through it, and I'll show that here in the, in the camera. Here it is looking down. You can see as I move the uh, fitting valve around, you can very clearly find the cross point. And they pop this out and uh, it comes with a steel pin. And as you could imagine, of course, you uh, drop that in. Uh, strike it with a hammer and uh, precisely get the point. Really handy little gadget, uh, a little bit easier than trying to eyeball it. Um, this is uh, just something I'd found at Lee Valley uh, this morning, and uh, I must admit it's making things a little bit easier as I do these layouts for mounting plates for electronics. So to get some sense whether or not this uh, optical system is better than a standard spring punch, I have a piece of metal here and I punched uh, two series of holes, and I have a camera here uh, in macro mode, and uh, I can get some sort of uh, understanding. I'll just insert the picture here, it'll be a bit blurry on the viewfinder. Uh, this is one that was uh, done with the optical registration, and it's really close, it's within a, a few thou of the crosshair, so exactly what you want. Um, let me just uh, insert another picture here of a series of holes. Uh, the holes on top were actually uh, placed by the uh, optical registration system, and the ones on the bottom were done with a spring punch. Uh, let me just insert a little video there, that's a standard little handheld spring punch. Um, and you can see the spring punch is doing a, a much less accurate job. Uh, now, however, the optical one uh, isn't perfect either. Uh, both techniques require a lot of finesse. Okay, uh, this is a slightly different uh, video for this YouTube channel, so uh, just in case you're wondering what that uh, previous bit was about, uh, traditionally once you get the metal punched here, you would drill it uh, with a drill press and then uh, take a uh, tap and, of course, put some threads in the plate. And in this case, then I screwed through a hex fitting and a circuit board, of course, sits on top. Uh, the reason that the uh, metalwork is blue, it's uh, been marked with something called uh, markup dye. Uh, it comes either on a spray can, as I'm using here, or you paint it on. And uh, it makes it very easy to see where the score lines are. Uh, anyways, and for completeness here, here's a listing for the uh, Lee Valley uh, item. Veritas is a, a trade name of that company. And uh, you can easily order one of these from the web. Uh, anyways, uh, if you are doing mounting of circuit boards onto metal plates, uh, this little gadget actually does seem to have a place.